These days, David Beckham is known for many things, but he first came to prominence as a football player. With his powerful right foot, passing ability, and signature curled free kicks, he established himself as one of Britain's greatest football stars. During his 20-year career, he won 19 major trophies for his clubs and appeared in 115 games for England. In 2004, Pele named Beckham one of the 100 greatest living players. David Beckham was born 2 May 1975 as the second child to Sandra Georgina and David Edward Allen Beckham and grew up in a part of East London called Leightonstone. He played football from a very early age, impassioned by the sport, he dreamed about being a professional as an adult. After starting his youth career at the local Ridgeway Rovers, Beckham made his way to Manchester United in 1991. He made the senior team debut in 1992 around the same time as the rest of the famous Fergie's fledglings. He soon became a starter at the right midfield position, claiming the number seven shirt from Mark Hughes. In the 1996 Premier League opener against Wimbledon, Beckham became a household name by scoring a lob from the halfway line. Beckham remained at United until 2003, helping them win six Premier League titles and one European Cup. He would play more games in the United shirt, 386, than in any other, however, due to his increasingly glamorous lifestyle, his relationship with coach Alex Ferguson slowly deteriorated. The issues came to a head once Ferguson kicked a boot that struck Beckham in the eye, causing a cut that needed to be stitched. Unable to man their relationship, United sold Beckham to Real Madrid for 37 million. At the international stage, Beckham had another share of controversies to worry about. He made his tournament debut at the 1998 World Cup, though manager Glenn Hoddle initially used him as a substitute. In the round of 16 match against Argentina, Beckham was sent off for kicking Diego Simeon while lying on the pitch. England eventually lost the match on penalties and Beckham became the main target of abuse by both the fans and media. By Euro 2000, things didn't improve. Despite earning two assists in a 2-3 defeat to Portugal in the tournament opener, Beckham was taunted by fans throughout the match, and he finally responded by raising his middle finger. Though this actually improved his image in the media, England was eliminated in the group stage. For the 2002 World Cup, Beckham was promoted to team captain, but England was unable to get past Brazil in the quarterfinals. In real, Beckham joined Ronaldo, Zidane, Figo, and Real in a squad known as Galacticos. For all the talent on display, though, Real struggled to win any trophies in Beckham's first three seasons with the club. Despite this lack of team success, Beckham was turning in solid performances and led La Liga in assists in 2005. This turbulent period culminated in a surprising defeat to Arsenal in the last 16 of the 2006 Champions League. Following this loss, Florentino Perez resigned as president and Real started veering away from the Galacticos era. Under new manager Fabio Capello, Beckham was initially out of favor. However, he made a comeback in the second part of the season, helping Real reach its first La Liga title in four years. Internationally, Beckham's final major tournament was the 2006 World Cup. He played a big part in getting England to the quarterfinals, scoring a free kick winner in the round of 16 against Ecuador. Before the quarterfinal match against Portugal, he suffered from illness and dehydration and was substituted shortly after halftime. Portugal went on to win the game on penalties. A day later, Beckham announced he was stepping down as team captain. Having already signed a new contract with Los Angeles Galaxy during his final season with Real, Beckham joined the MLS to global fanfare. The media frenzy allowed the Galaxy to make money off the new signing via various sponsorships, and Beckham himself immediately became the team's captain. He spent the following five seasons with the Galaxy, helping them claim two MLS Cups in 2011 and 2012. In between the MLS seasons, Beckham kept trying to stay fit for the national team. This resulted in two separate loans to Milan in 2009 and 2010, the latter of which saw him get injured and miss the 2010 World Cup and a big part of the following season for Le Galaxy. In 2013, Beckham signed a five-month deal with Paris Saint-Germain, helping them claim a League One title. At the end of the season, he retired from football. In 2014, the MLS management announced that the Englishman would be the owner of an expansion team based in Miami, 
the second largest city in Florida. With this initiative, the league filled the void left by the disappearance of the Miami Fusion in 2002. In January 2018, Miami International Football Club, known as Inter Miami CF, was born. The team could not register immediately as they lacked a stadium, management and sporting infrastructure. As a result, they began to compete in MLS from the 2020 season onwards. Their first stars were the Argentines Macias Pellegrini and Julian Carranza, and in their debut they lost to Los Angeles FC. In 2021, the Jorge and Jose Maz brothers became majority owners of the club. Until then, the team had been far from successful, 19th in 2020 and 20th in 2021 in the MLS Eastern Conference. They had never made the Audi MLS Cup playoffs until 2022, when they finished 6th before losing 3-0 to New York City FC in the round of 16. 2023 was shaping up to be another transition year. Former head coach Phil Neville was dismissed due to results that left the Florida side as the worst performing team in MLS, despite having the likes of former Atlanta United FC marksman Joseph Martinez. Sometimes in this game we have to make the tough decisions, and unfortunately we feel it's the right time to make a change, Beckham had said. The solution to save their season was brewing up on the other side of the Atlantic, at the Parc des Princes in Paris. Who knows if in a few years you'll give me a call, Lionel Messi had said to Beckham, via a video on his social networks, in 2018. This summer, the Englishman, who had kept a very good relationship with Messi over the years, picked up the phone and obliged. On leaving Paris Saint-Germain in France, the Argentine maestro opted to make the move to the United States, 